Hi, I'm Eileen Grace Bahol, an IT student of University of Immaculate Conception. I will teach you how to create a pivot table and a pivot chart in Microsoft Excel 2007. Pivot table can automatically sort, count, and total the data stored in one table or spreadsheet and create a second table displaying the summarized data. I have here a sales report. I have listed some products, the customers who brought these products, and the sales for first quarter until to the fourth quarter. To summarize this huge data, we will use table table. To start off, just click any cells inside the table, and then click insert, and then table table. The Excel chooses all the data inside the table. So, in the dialog box, you can see the range, and then it asks you where you want the pivot table report to be placed. You have two options, new worksheet or existing worksheet. For this example, I will choose new worksheet, and then click OK. In our second worksheet, on the left side, you can see the blank pivot table. On the right side, you can see the pivot table field list with the headlines in our first sheet. To start off, you must tell Excel what are the data that you want in your pivot table. So here, the report filter, the column labels, the values, and the row labels will help you. The report filter will filter all the data that you only want. The column labels, all the data will be placed in the column. Row labels, all the data will be placed in the row. And then the values most often are numbers. So for this example, I choose product in a report filter. So our paper table has started. You can see that the product choose all. You can also to choose either one. Or you can choose two or more just click this box right here that select multiple item and you have the option to choose two or more and then I choose the customer in the row label as you can see all the customers are displayed in the row so these are all the customers so what if I choose only one product then so here are the customers who brought that kind of product now let's drag this quarter one to quarter four in their respective places so uh, because they are numeric we will place them in the values so I uh, choose quarter one quarter two quarter three then quarter four but you have an option where do you want them to place. So here, as you can see, these are the data inside on our first sheet. Also, you can see them in our second in our paper table. Here, you can see only the amount of this person cost for this kind of brand, and also in what quarter. What if I choose all? So, here are the per customers and the cost for this all, all of kinds of product. And uh, below, you can see the grand total. Here, the payable table also provide us the grand total. As all you can see, some numbers have this amount point. What if you don't want to have a decimal point? Or you want to minimize this decimal point around off? So, just highlight the data you want. The dec decimal points will be disappeared or minimized. After, right click and then format cells. In the format cells, you can see lots of tabs the number, the alignment the font, the border, 
fill you can fill them with colors and then the protection so for this example I want the decimal point to be minimized so the number the category is number and then decimal places is zero so and click OK that's how to format our pivot table how about you want this quarter one and quarter two will be disappear in our table you don't want them to include in your pivot table just simply drag them inside the sheet out of the box or you can simply uncheck this mark here so the two and three are disappeared in our table table how to make a chart out of this so to make a chart just click insert button here and then you can see there's a lot of charts available you can choose one of them but you have lots of options here you can see all types of chart so for this example I choose a column chart and then click OK as you can see our chart shows us all the total for first quarter until to the fourth quarter the persons who only reaches the zero to 16,000 included in the chart because as you can see there's a lot of pe people the chart cannot occupy them but it's on your choice you can also edit this one or you can reformat it so for, ex for example here I will choose one product is the chart also be affected let's see I choose fellow mix and then click OK so as you can see the chart also changes its form because the table also changes here you can see the list of names and the sales from 0 to 500 and the blue one represent the sum of quarter 1 the red 2 the green is quarter 3 and the violet is quarter 4 this is the filter pane of a chart so here you can manage your chart in the table we choose as fellow mix how about in the chart we choose as another is the table also be affected let's see I choose long life tofu and click ok so here as you can see our chart also changes its form and also the table so whatever the table looks like or the data inside the table will also be appearing in our chart what if you don't like the form of the chart how can I change it so just simply right click and then change chart type click and ok and then choose a chart that you want so for me it's a line and then click ok so here as you can see there are only two person accelerate in the sum of quarter three so they which is the hundred percent this is the line of hundred percent so this is how to manipulate the chart and the table I will also change this table Boston curve meet and also the chart also affected so that's how to manipulate the chart and the table I hope you enjoy don't hesitate to leave a comment and God bless